Wait, is that floating? <laughs> Come on, bud, get off. You're a tree, you're not an island, you're not supposed to float. What are you doing? Hello everyone and welcome to the third develop. Today, I'm gonna show you what I did in these few days. Finally, I started thinking about the user interface and I firstly did a crosshair in the center of the screen which is going to let the player interact with pretty much everything in the world and you can see the very first basic interaction with objects. Maybe this might sound obvious to someone, but I wanna share the practice that I personally follow to make UI stuff. Who knows, maybe I can help someone. So basically, I make everything in Photoshop like static PNGs, then I import them on Unity to see how they look, and when I like something, I start making them dynamic. You can see now, life and hunger bars image. This is just a PNG. And when I'll be fine with them, I will make them working. For now, I don't want to make a stamina bar or something like this because I don't want to limit the player in running. This is going to be a procedural generated world, so some islands may be very big, some may not, but why I have to walk? The next UI part is the little inventory which is going to be used for tools just by clicking numbers. The blue one is the currently selected and you may rotate them by scrolling the mouse wheel. This is like a standard for games. Anyway, I would really appreciate your feedback so feel free to leave a comment below and consider subscribing if you want to see more. But thanks anyway. The final one is the inventory itself. I'm not really fine with it. I feel like it's not belonging to my game. Anyway, I tried several variants and I think this is the best. I will probably set up a Discord server to share more with you and hopefully you can give me real-time feedback. That's it for today. Unfortunately, I was quite busy this week so I haven't done so much. Hope you enjoyed anyway and uh, i leave you with a little footage of day night cycle mechanic. Thanks for watching and see you next time.